I started a sneaker collection with just a $20 bill, and now I'm gonna buy, sell, and trade my way up to a pair of $20,000 Nike bags. And today, we're in New York City. What's up guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Today's episode is gonna be a little bit different than most of the other episodes in this series because today the entire episode is filmed in New York and today we actually have a special guest, Tom Stefani, behind the camera. Hey, it's me, Tom Stefania. YouTuber extraordinaire. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description below. He has a new vlogging channel. I'll actually leave a link to that channel instead. You guys should definitely check it out. <laughs> okay, so right now the sneaker fund is at $4,263.70. And Seth has over $8,000 in sneaker inventory that he's either keeping in his collection or selling, which is crazy because the last time that I was in an episode, he had about $540. And that was only like five or six months ago. Are you going to be spending all $4,000 today? No. No? No. Not today. What if we find good stuff? Then maybe today. But guys, before we actually get into the thrifting, we did have some sales over the weekend. So all the sneakers that I sold were sold on Whatnot last week, and the first sneaker that we sold were the Air Max 95s. I grabbed those Air Max 95s from Plato's Closet a couple weeks ago for $38, and then I sold them on Whatnot for $93. And after fees and shipping, I was able to add $82.56 back into the sneaker collection fund. Subtracting the original purchase price, we are left with a net profit of $44.56. Next up, we had the Air Max 200s that we also grabbed from Plato's Closet. I grabbed those for $17.60. I sold them on Whatnot for $38, and after fees and shipping, we were able to add $33.56 back into the sneaker collection fund, leaving us with a net profit of $15.96. Next up were the Air Jordan 17 Pluses in the Chicago colorway that I grabbed for $25, also from Plato's Closet. I sold those on Whatnot for $31, and we were able to add $27.32 back into the sneaker collection fund, leaving us with the lowest net profit of the bunch at $2.32. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have grabbed these, but I usually grab Jordans just because I'm a Jordan fan. I'm learning though, and I think moving forward, I'll double check on eBay just to make sure that I'm grabbing something that actually has some resale value. And finally, I sold the brand new Adidas Forums. I grabbed those for $40 from Plato's Closet. I sold them for $61 and was able to add $54.05 back into the sneaker collection fund. Subtracting the purchase price, we were left with a net profit of $14.05. And the total that we were able to add back into the sneaker collection fund was $190. $97.49. And now, after all of those sales, the sneaker collection fund currently sits at $4,461.19. But with all that being said, let's go do some thrifting. Let's do some thrifting. Let's do it up. Okay, so I realized while I'm editing this video that I forgot to mention the sponsor of today's video, which is Apothecary. So I guess it's not really sponsored, it's just kind of my own brand in my own video. But rather than doing a regular apothecary sponsored spot, what I'm gonna do is show you guys a video that I put together which highlights the artists that we're collaborating with on our most recent collection which drops this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So here it is. And actually also, if you recognize any of the B-roll footage, it's because I already used some of it for the intro. Got some Pharrell's for 40. Some decent stuff. It sucks that there's copyrighted music, but <laughs> that looks sick. Well, 50 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. $40 for some superstar. I think these would probably not really move though. I think this is probably what they'd be going for on eBay. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey. Yo, I'm grabbing these. What, how much are they going for? 50? What size? That's it. That's a grab. Oh, it's a little, a little worn right there, but not crazy. For 50 bucks? I mean, I could watch, there's a stain on the side, but I could probably wash that out, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, Remember these, the D-Rups? What are these called? These, this is the worst, I don't know if there's audio on this. There is audio, but, yeah. But this is the worst shoe that Adidas ever put out. <laughs> and they sent everyone PR packages. Yeah. Everyone was like, oh my God, these are such great shoes. And I refused to post it, because it was so good. <laughs> oh man, 50 bucks is a lot, but they are brand new, so that makes sense. Wait, bro, next to you. the Statue of Liberty one? Yeah, 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 I do. How much are these ones These, these are for? for like $2.50. That's not bad. Do you see what's next to it too? Oh, shoot. I didn't even see that. Yeah. They don't have a charger though. It's the Paul Jordan's. What? Oh, no. Whoa. No, hey, dude. Whoa. These are adapts. Oh. Geez. These are the BBs. What the F? The BBs. Okay. How much? Yeah, they don't have a charger. 50 bucks. Yo, this is a def. I don't know if they work though. This is a risk. You yeah, guys should grab them. But like a lot of upside. A, a huge amount of upside because these could sell for at least $150, $200. So definitely grab. Well, but you can like get a discount if you buy too. I don't know. 
I wonder if they have the charger. Probably not though, right? I highly doubt it. Yeah. This is a definite cop though. That's crazy. I can't believe they have these. Which ones? The Hyper Red. Oh yeah, those are decent. Good too. They got Everything's some. 50 bucks in That's not bad. Vapor Max is too. Or 50, 50 bucks. bucks. No surprise there. They've got the Pumas for 50 bucks. Remember these banana Pumas? <laughs> got some uh, more Nike basketball. Yep. Yeah, probably not. But they are in pretty decent condition. 50 bucks, as you could have guessed. Look at that Sixers jersey. Wow. Champion jersey. Do you happen to have a charger for these guys? Because they come with like a little flat charger. Like a USB charger. It's like it has a Nike logo on it. But if you don't have it, it's not a big deal. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, the first thrift stop stop was actually a pretty huge success. Tom found some pretty cool the sneakers for me. Stop the was, thrift stop shop was not going to flop. It was on top. <laughs> well, Tom actually found this pair of Air Jordan 5s for 50 bucks, which I feel like is a little bit pricey because the shoe is kind of worn. If I was at like a sneaker con or whatever and you told me these were 75 bucks, you would buy them? I'd buy them. If okay, I needed, like if, if they're my size and stuff, I, they're size 8, so I don't need them and I wouldn't buy them. <laughs> but if they were my size. Fair enough. Well, I think I could probably get 70 to 80 for them if I clean them up. There's a couple scuffs, nothing too major though. And then the other thing that we grabbed is this pair of Nike Adapt BBs. Now, unfortunately, this shoe didn't have the charger. I did ask them. He didn't know what you were doing. Yeah, no, like, do you have the about. charger for these shoes? <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have a charger for these anymore, but I did get them for 50 bucks, and I feel like pretty big upside. I feel like you get 100 bucks. I mean, bucks. I don't know the market on them, but I know the retail is like 400 to 500 bucks. So. True. Well, it's worth a shot. Worst case scenario, we lose 50 bucks, but. I think it'll be okay. I think we'll figure something out. I thought they were the Julius everyone's, but I'm not really good. Oh, Rashid Wallace, duh, that's what it is. The Kyries aren't bad now. I found with Kyries that they don't really move that well. How much? 50? Not for 50, but they are nice. Definitely nice. And in great condition too, actually. Let me check the uh, the code on eBay. So it's kind of a crapshoot with these. They don't really have any pre-owned ones on eBay, but the ones that they do have sell for like 49. So probably a no-go, but still in great condition. LeBron 13s. Is that what these are? Yeah. You're a LeBron guy? Yeah, these are LeBron 13s. 50. Got Air Forces. Force one minutes. Those are uh, Air Max uh, 720s. Got some Ultra Boosts. Oh, no way. Are these GS? I don't know what these are, the problem. 50. Oh, the Blazers are nice too, yeah. Here, let me check the price in the Jordan, and I'll check the price in the Blazers. Okay, so I checked these, I checked the uh, the fours. Looks like they're going for about what they're going for here, except a little bit less on eBay, so probably a no go. Wow. Yeah. Soccer shoes, Play Doh. Oh, they're look going at these. for what they're going for here, except a little bit less. <laughs> a little bit less, <laughs> exactly. But NMGs just haven't been moving for me recently, this so. Is the prime knit. They are the prime knit ones, but I've, I've had a lot of prime knit ones and they just haven't really moved. The crazy thing is, is that if these, if this was 2018, oh. this would probably be 300 bucks. Oh, for sure. Remember when everyone got seated these by Camp Sports? I was not part of that you didn't get these ones? No, unfortunately. Everyone got these. I would have worn those too. Pegasus. That's about it. Yeah. Got some. Uh, Air Force AF1 One FF, FF. SFs, AF1 Seth Fowlers, as I like to call them. These Did used to like move. The legit ones with like the paracord? Oh, I had those, yeah. They were sick. But then I stopped wearing them like everyone else did, so they're <laughs> not worth anything. Converses. Some more Converses over there. Wow, it's all Converses. Wow. More Converses. More Converses. Some Vans. Oh, got some Ewings, dude. Yes, Air Force Ones, Mids. Um, what are these? I don't know what those are. Bunch more Converses. <laughs> nice, nice. See anything good? Who's paying forty dollars for used skate highs? Uh -huh. Why don't I just go buy new skate highs? That is a little expensive, but they are nice. I love skate highs. Yeah, but I could go to Trey. Sure. Purchase the exact same ones for fifty dollars. 
Got some more vans. I guess it's we're in Brooklyn, so it makes sense. You got vans and Converse's. And some nice uh, dress shoes. Oh, look at this. For the toe. You gonna call this for the toe? Oh yeah? Yeah, on God. So the, uh, the third spot, wasn't too great. I mean, it was a nice store, but it's all Converse's and Vans, and they're all very expensive. Brooklyn hipster stuff. Exactly. So, moving on to the next spot. No photos or stuff and used stuff. I think this is fire though. Look at this. $900 though. That was $900. Yes sir. Four fifty. dollars Oh, probably like. These ones are a little bit more worn though. No, I'm not looking for anything. Oh. These staples are fire. I think those ones are new, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Nice. Yeah. Seven thousand. It's the coffin, dude. I know with the 550s. No, thank you. Not for 350. Damn. I got a pair on. Still clean. I dig it. Stray rats. Leahy, ALD, very nice. Okay, so unfortunately round two didn't have anything. I didn't expect them to have any like used stuff that I wanted for a good price, but I did want to find some like brand new, like uh, early stuff to review, but unfortunately wasn't not, there. wasn't there. Which is funny too, because these are actually the frat. The Omega Psi Phi is actually purple and gold, not pink and gold, they're maroon and gold, so it's not even the right colors. This one's only 500. Oh, it's pretty, uh, pretty cooked, but 500 is not bad. These are going for a lot back when these first came out, but it looks like they're pretty worn. Wow, they're very worn. That sucks. Do you think these are the uh, 1985s or 2001s? You think so? For 30k? Yeah. But I mean, they're in really good condition. I think the original ones, like even in bad condition, go for like 20, 25. I don't know, yeah. Huh. The uh, Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones. This is a friends and family colorway, I think. Not bad. I sell my Dior's Dior for. You have Dior's? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah, I have a pair of high tops. Wait, why? For... I got a good price for them. Got some Supreme Dunks. Nice. Some foamies. Some Noctas. I think the white pair is a lot more coveted than the black pair. Tom's treating you the best $1 slice in New York. Hey. I'd say it's pretty good. I'm excited. I think I've had it before though. So. Ah. So, these are the pickups from today. We got the uh, the Nike Adapt BBs. This shoe is um pretty cool. I mean, it's, a, it's an auto lacing sneaker. I'm curious to see if they work. That's my you question. Can put them on your charging pad, I guess, <laughs> yeah. to see if they actually, you lucked out. I did. If you could get- 50 bucks. Like, if they work. That's if the they problem. don't work, it's still like, a basketball shoe that you can't lace though. So if yeah. they don't work, it's useless. No, honestly, this is a huge gamble. I'm hoping that they work. I mean, 50 bucks isn't a huge gamble, but it's enough of a gamble where like, if they don't work, it's it sucks. Yes. Um, but I guess you could like take them apart to what's inside. That'd be kind of cool. That would actually be pretty cool. Right? I'd kind of be down to see that. I would probably watch that video. I guess uh, we'll just have to wait and see if they actually work or not. I guess I'll let you guys know when I get back to my apartment or my house. Okay, it's been on the charger for a couple hours now. Moment of truth. <laughs> it works. Oh, that's so awesome. That's awesome. But yeah, so this is a, this is a question mark. And then we also have the Air Jordan 5s, which I told you guys about earlier. Um, a little beat, but for 50 bucks, run them through the washing machine, they should be good to go. We just do a little scrubbing yeah. on the ankle there. A little scrubbing up there. I think I could, I, I don't think I'll lose money on these. I just don't think they're gonna be like a huge money maker. But well, you know what they say, profit know, is profit. Profit is profit. Quick profit's even better. That's the goal. Quick profit is profit. So guys, that pretty much rounds off the thrifting for today. I think at the end of today's episode, we actually have a sneaker collection fund of 4,300 and... 
four thousand three hundred and sixty-one dollars and nineteen cents. That's, that's crazy. That's, that's almost four thousand three hundred and sixty-two dollars. Exactly. And also we have the cars, which I think are worth probably about two thousand to maybe twenty-five hundred. And we've also got thousand dollars worth of sneaker investments, as in the uh, the patent breads and the um, the dunks. Oh, those are buy and hold. Those are the buy and holds. Yeah. Wow. So I think altogether 7,000, 7,300. Okay. Getting close. My thought is, I feel like with the Nike mags continually going up in value and there being like five pairs ever. I think there's more than five. Do you think I should change the end goal to something a little bit more, I guess more accessible, something I can actually buy? Yeah, I mean, I think that mags are hideous. Like I, I know it's like, there's prestige to it because it's like, this is such an expensive shoe. But everyone who walks around wearing that looks like a dingus. So Fair enough. maybe get shoes that you like, if I saw you walking around, I'd think, wow, this guy's cool and not a dingus. So like Yeezy 2s or like Dior's or like... Yeah, like the original, or like, yeah, Yeezy 2s, I guess, like if you want to get the Red Octobers. Those like, are probably similar price to Dior's. True. The Dior's um, are like 12, 000, 10, 10 some, Somewhere around there. Gotcha. Um, That's more doable. You know, there's like other stuff too you could get. Plus I'd probably keep, I mean I would keep the mags too, but I'd probably like keep and wear the Dior's. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I'd wear Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of, I guess, pivoting the end goal of the series. Um, because even though mags are great, and I think we could get mags eventually, I feel like it'd be kind of more interesting if we tried something a little bit different, and uh, we could obviously finish off this series and start on the next version of this series, which I think I've told you guys about in the past, but yeah. let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And do you guys remember, like and comment down below, do you remember way back, we're talking probably 20, 2012, 2013, maybe even sooner, the video title and the yep. like button and the dislike button and the subscribe button were above the video. Oh, true. And yep. it caused this the mass day. confusion when they switched it, where everyone was like, click click the like button. That's some YouTube history right then there. the like button was there. <laughs> and, you know, you kids just probably don't think about that because you're too young. But I think about it. Fair enough. A lot. Well, on that note, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys in next week's episode. I won't. Well, you might. Probably not, though. Yeah. Hey. I really hope that was all in frame. <laughs> I'm a little concerned.